Good afternoon guys, welcome back to Maverick Baking and welcome back to another chocolate review. If you are back again, it's delightful to see you as always and if you're new here, don't even hesitate. Just go and give that little subscribe button just a little, a little, a little tiny because we're very close to 6,000. And having 6,000 of you here all at the same time brings me nothing but unparalleled joy. Can you tell? <laughs> Today's video is bringing you a bumper double review. We're going to be talking about two products that are, well, they're almost the same product, to be honest. <laughs> Today's video is also acting as a bit of a public service announcement that we all really, really need to calm the hecty heck down about orange chocolate because every single UK chocolate retailer has decided that it appears to be the only chocolate for this year's festive market. And oh my God, please stop. <laughs> From all of the new Terry's chocolate orange varieties, shapes and flavors we're seeing to the Toblerone orange twist to today's double bumper review of the dairy milk orange things. <laughs> yes, Cadbury have decided to jump on this chocolate orange trend. On the back of the ever popular and extremely elusive orange twirl, first released in 2019 and again less exclusively in 2020. They seem to have really wanted to cash in on this trend so they've essentially just added some orange flavouring to all of their products and today I'm going to tell you about them and let you know whether it's worth parting with your hard-earned cash. Strap in. <laughs> So I think we are going to start today's review with the Daily Milk Orange Giant Buttons. Now, I must say I am quite a big fan of the packaging here, even though they've gone a little bit overboard with about 600 different kinds of fonts on the front, the purple and orange color clash is jarringly attractive. I will give them that. One thing I will compliment them on is they have appeared to use orange oil, which is a lot better than artificial orange flavoring. I have said this so many times in recent videos because we have tasted so many different orange chocolates recently. Anyway, let's get into them. There is immediately a very tempting orange smell. For as much as I complain about all of this orange chocolate, it is actually a flavor combination I enjoy very much. So as you can see, the bag is probably about half full. I'd say that's normal for a bag of chocolate like this, though always mildly disappointing to open. You are getting a good kind of combination of that classic Cadbury dairy milk smell with that orange oil that is very much evocative of Terry's chocolate orange. So this is roughly the size of the buttons we are talking about today. They are you know, questionable if you would call these giant, but they are certainly larger than the childhood memory of chocolate buttons we may have. And let's just see if these Cadbury's giant chocolate orange buttons are worth your money. This is an interesting one. So while upon opening and first inhaling the scent of these orange buttons, there was definitely a classic Cadbury dairy milk smell. One that would remind me of chocolate Easter eggs or opening Christmas selection boxes. The flavour is completely absent, completely. All you get from this is the feeling that you are eating a Terry's chocolate orange. <clears throat> the potency of the orange oil is strong, I won't lie. I do enjoy it, it's a very natural tasting orange flavour and it is very enjoyable. It's sweet, it's orangey, it's what you want it to be. The problem is when underneath that is a very, very cheap vegetable oil filled over sweetened chocolate, you cannot distinguish brand from brand. You just cannot. If you were to place this in my mouth while I was blindfolded, first of all, I would probably have you arrested. But second of all, I definitely would not be able to tell that this wasn't a Terry's chocolate orange product or for that matter, any generic kind of supermarket or lower than supermarket brand orange flavored chocolate because really it tastes exactly the same. Saying that, it's not entirely negative. You know, it is an orange flavored chocolate as it says it is going to be, but as I've already mentioned, an extremely cheap tasting chocolate with the classic kind of Cadbury texture, which isn't particularly creamy, smooth, and even a little bit grainy, to be honest. And of course, way, way too much sugar. Almost two thirds of this product is sugar, which in chocolate is just entirely unnecessary, especially when flavored with something as potent and kind of aromatic as orange oil. Generally speaking, this is kind of how I expected 
it would be. I hoped there would be a bit more of that classic dairy milk flavour, even if it's not my favourite, I hoped it would be a bit more present. Sadly, it is not. So I'm going to go ahead and give the Cadbury Orange Giant Buttons a 3 out of 5. Okay, let's move on to our next product of today's double Cadbury review, which is going to be these Cadbury Dairy Milk Orange Fingers. Now, this one intrigues me a bit more. I feel like Cadbury's chocolate fingers are something that don't get as much hype as they deserve. I think in the chocolate biscuit market here in the UK, they are generally a fairly strong contender and there's something that every time I eat them, I forget how much I enjoy them. These, I will say, can probably be judged in a different way from the chocolate buttons. A chocolate biscuit, in my opinion, because it is a chocolate biscuit, doesn't need to be judged on the merits of the actual chocolate as much. But that being said, we'll wait and see how these are first. <laughs> so if you have never had a Cadbury's chocolate finger before, or if it's been a while since you last had some at your grandma's house or whatever you would normally have them, these are crisp biscuits covered with Cadbury milk chocolate. These ones, of course, being orange flavored. So if I haven't already mentioned it, I picked up both of these products in my local Tesco. Um, I think I've also seen them in my local co-op store, but I'm sure that come the festive season, these will be everywhere because as I mentioned, for some reason, Christmas in the UK has something to do with orange flavored chocolate. <laughs> There's a decent amount of chocolate fingers in here. Really, they probably should have mastered packaging that doesn't just make them look like they've all been hit with a small explosive, but you know, I can't complain. They were only a pound. Okay, that's interesting. We have the same kind of basic orange oil smell, but we do obviously have notes of that biscuit coming through. I can't say that the smell reminds me of Cadbury chocolate fingers more so than any other kind of generic chocolate biscuit. Let's give them a taste. Meh. Imagine any generic chocolate biscuit you've ever had and put some orange oil in it. That's what you have here. At this point, I'm going to be one of those people that says, Oh, I remember the chocolate was thicker when I was a child. But honestly, I think it was. <laughs> the chocolate being so thin and this primarily being a generic crunchy biscuit with a decent texture means the chocolate is completely overwhelmed. Completely. You definitely can taste orange. Absolutely. But again, because of the orange oil they use, whether it's identical to the one that Terry's use for their chocolate orange products or not. Again, this just tastes like a Terry's chocolate orange product. Or if I'm feeling extra harsh, I could even compare it to just a really poor quality version of a box of Marks and Spencer's chocolate biscuits. And I only compare it to that because I think at this time of year, when we're all putting a bit more value into our treats, you know, we're probably spending less time going to restaurants and cafes and treating ourselves to things. So we're probably going to spend a bit more money on food that we have in the home instead. Especially on the run up to Christmas when you have to consider gifting or you might have the occasional visitor, COVID permitting. If you're going to be spending money on chocolate biscuits, you want them to be good. And a Marks and Spencer's box of biscuits, you know, by weight isn't that much more expensive than these, but my God, they taste and feel so much better. <laughs> Even if you were to buy Marks and Spencer's cheapest box of chocolate biscuits, they usually have an orange flavored chocolate biscuit in there. It will typically have a thicker coating of chocolate and a decent quality biscuit. And this is where I think Cadbury are missing the mark here. While I said I wouldn't solely judge these chocolate fingers on the chocolate, the chocolate still needs to have some kind of purpose, you know? Texture-wise, it offers very little in the way of creaminess. It offers sweetness, yes, and a little touch of orange flavour. It tastes nothing like Cadbury's Dairy Milk. And when you're going to advertise yourself as a Cadbury's Dairy Milk product, girl, you better bring the dairy and the milk. <laughs> Much like the buttons, in summary, fine. You know, it basically is what it says it's going to be. It's a Cadbury orange finger. You know, there is some kind of Cadbury chocolate on there. It's a biscuit finger. They're fine. If you were to hand me a couple of these with my cup of tea, I wouldn't say no. You know, they're okay and that's about it. When it comes to delivering on that iconic British Cadbury dairy milk flavour though, where? Where is it? It's not there. <laughs> so much like the buttons, I think, you know, for not exactly under delivering, but not doing much in the way of meeting the mark, I'm going to give these a very mediocre three out of five. In summary, when it comes to getting your orange flavored chocolate fix this year, there are countless better alternatives. I would endlessly advocate the orange twist Toblerone over this, for example. And similarly, if you want orange flavored chocolate, 
Terry's chocolate orange is the most fun to eat, the most easy to share, the most kind of festive and definitely the most enjoyable. If you guys have tried any of the orange Cadbury products, do let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to know if you think I'm just being mean or if you think this orange chocolate trend is really overhyped and poorly executed a lot of the time. In the meantime, that is all I have time for today, guys. Do consider subscribing if you're new here. As I said, it would be delightful to see you again. In the meantime, that is all I have time for today. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you for the next one.